When we started playing shows um, off the uh, Bleach record, um, things, had, things had changed quite a bit for us because the, the first time we went out on tour, uh, we just had uh, our single, and that was all we did. And we were like, well, we really want to you know, go out and start playing. And it was interesting because it was some people, you know, were aware of us. And, you know, there'd be shows where, like, there was hardly anybody there. So it made it kind of a stretch for us to try to, you know, earn. Our goal was to be able, be able to make enough money to give us enough gas to get to the next venue to play. Because we had all these places the first time we went out. It was like, you know, Texas, all the way to the East Coast and back. Uh, but it was surprising um, to, I remember thinking, you know, these people were, you know, showing up, and they were like, hey, man, this that single's really awesome and all this stuff. And, and I remember even hanging out inside the uh, clubs before they were, you know, officially open. People would go and by, you know, be like, hey, is that, uh, is that, is Nirvana playing tonight? And I'd be like, you know, I'd maybe on the other side of the door, like on the booth or something, in earshot. And I'd be like, wow, that's really weird. It's like we're here and somewhere in the Midwest and... Somebody actually knows who we are. That's really strange, and so I mean that was pretty much what the uh, what the single and the tour was like. But when Bleach came out, it was a totally different story. It was like everywhere we played, it was you know people knew who we were, and uh, you know all the venues we played were just packed with people, and it was it was kind of a rush. It was like wow, this is so wild. It's like now there's I mean before you know we we had some packed shows. We had a lot of shows that, that, you know, didn't have a lot of people as well. But this time around was totally different. The Bleach record was totally different. And, you know, and we never had to worry about, you know, room and board or anything either. I mean, it was, people were always offering us places to stay. But we also made, you know, we also made pretty d decent money. I mean, you know, considering what, what we were doing. And, and I never knew you know, what our record sales was like. I don't know if Kurt or Chris knew or anybody knew. Nobody had a clue, but, you know, obviously it was, you know, doing enough to where it got at least enough attention to where people knew what was going on. But I think, you know, I think a lot in part to, uh, you know, things leading up to like our record and stuff like that and, and, and touring stuff was really, you know, the whole sub pop thing. I mean, you know, people... I think people, you know, they're, a lot of their first wind of, you know, sub pop and, and, and seeing the bands tour and stuff were, you know, like, would be like, you know, Mud Honey and stuff like that. Because, you know, they had, they had vinyl out and record, you know, record out before, before we did. And, you know, I had already been, you know, doing some touring and stuff like that. So I think they kind of helped, uh, you know, I think we benefited uh, from that. You know, because there was, you know, they were, you know, they were out there, and it's like, you know, there was kind of solidifying, uh, uh, you know, a, a, a crowd of, you know, loyal people that were really into sub pop and stuff. They were like, okay, you know, these people have been buying these singles and whatnot, and this thing's starting up, and and you know, we're gonna you know, go check out these these bands now. And so, uh, by the time you know, Bleach came out, you know, they're you know, there'd already been a you know a couple of uh, you know tours at least by probably Mud Honey and maybe Tad and whatnot or whatever had already you know poked their poked their head out of the sand so to speak, as far as getting out of Washington. And um, and so you know I think that helped a lot for us too. And uh, and the you know and the shows, the shows were a blast. You know the shows were a lot of fun. And. Uh, you know, it's just something I, you know, something I'll, I'll, I'll always hold on to is some of the best times of my life, for sure. <laughs>